So for today's video, we're going to be taming up one of the more annoying creatures to tame in this game. Now, they're annoying because of what they need to eat. We're taming up some shadow mains, and you need to feed them fish in baskets. And here's the thing, guys. Size does matter. You're going to want to feed them 2.0 and above if you want the best efficiency. Um, so, yeah, here's what you got to do. So go ahead and just search the rivers. Use your tech helmet so it's going to be able to... It, you're going to be able to, like, find the big-ass fish. You're going to be able to see them from above. You don't have to continuously check them all. Uh, but once you do find a fish 2.0 and above, this is not it, by the way. I'm just going to use this as an example. You want to go ahead and just place a tent on top of it. This means the fish can't escape. So if it's swimming around, you can just basically trap it like this. Obviously, this is not going to work with super, super deep water if the fish is, like, you know, halfway up or whatever. So you want to probably mostly use this in the river areas but uh as you can see we can just trap it any second now boom i could do that but that that would just be a complete waste i already have all the fish i need and here's another thing you can put fish into cryopods you just got to release them out of the basket it's going to be tamed to you put it into a cryopod you can store them up like that or if you want to just refresh the timers put them onto your hot bar and then just completely submerge yourself in water so now you know how to get fish and how to keep them alive I think the next step is let's go get a shadow main. So let's go ahead and search the other biome until we find one. I do not want you. I want my face dolphin. I should probably also mention that if you guys find yourself enjoying this video, you should go ahead and just do me a favor by hitting that like button. It's really, really simple. All you got to do is just click it or tap it or whatever it just, you know, hit that little like button. It really helps me out. Also, we're aiming for mil 1 million subscribers by the end of this year. And only with your help can we get there. So go ahead and subscribe if you're not already lots of people watch these videos and aren't subscribed come on i know you're out there go ahead and hit that button as well the element biome is out here right now and i really would love to hit that up but we are on a time crunch here's another thing to do with shadow mains you'll want to try and tame them during the daytime because that's when they fall asleep which is kind of like the main thing for their taming method they need to be asleep for you to be able to feed these fish to them and also of course i will be showing my little trap that i use to tame up these dudes so let me just find one real quick and then we'll go ahead and demonstrate the whole method i should also mention that of course i will be going for pretty much max level or maybe 174 which is one below max level Here's the thing, there's lots and lots of shadow mains in this biome, and I really do feel like we should be able to try and find some max levels. So I want to, you know, aim for the best ones instead of wasting the fish on subpar shadow mains. So that's what I want to go ahead and do here today. I do have to say I would probably go absolutely insane with shadow mains if you could actually clone the fish or breed the fish or just do anything with the fish, you know even duping them no i wouldn't actually do that but if you could freaking clone the fish i would totally do that i mean elements pretty much free on this map we literally just passed a biome with element everywhere so that would be amazing if you could do that but unfortunately it's not possible i find that there's usually a good amount of them around these little lakey areas i just realized i don't have my spyglass on my thing there we go what do we have right here level 30 102 okay i should probably kill them hmm. how do we do that though i could just send in my my Dinosuchus. <laughs> Might as well do that. That could be a good idea. How could this go wrong at all? Could not. That's the thing. All right, go. Kill. Kill for me. There you go. <laughs> Light it up. Boom. Two of them are dead. We need one more. Do we get him? Oh, no. He's still trying to eat him. I guess I could help. Go on. Snap your jaw on him. Oh, he missed again. Oh, what? I like how the uh, Astrodelphus can track even where the uh, Shadow Main is going, because, like, that totally should not have hit, but it did. The thing teleported away. I mean, like, totally shouldn't have hit. Boom, we got him. All right, into your ball. All right, so I'm going to continuously search these areas to try and find some Shadow Mains. Maybe I'll use a Rex instead next time to dispatch of them. Could be a better idea. So we should be able to try and find some super high levels, and I'll catch you guys when we do. Oh, okay. Well, that's a 180 right there. And I literally just stopped talking like right over there. Okay, cool. I guess we're taming that thing. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What do I want to do for this? I'm going to need to separate them. I'm going to need to kill. Wait, which one? Was it a female or was it a male? The female. I don't know why, but it looks like a male from here. It's like a little frill thing. He looks kind of big. All right, cool. Well, anyway, that is a really pretty color. I got to say, uh, how do we want to do this though? I need to kill the, the low level. I don't have anything that could just one-shot it, unless I could just run up and shotgun it in the face, which is definitely not going to work out well for us. So let me go ahead and put you away. 
and pick up your element because I should not waste element like that. There we go. Cool. And let's see. I guess what I could do is just go ahead and net the, the 180 and then just deal with... <gasps> and then just deal with the other one. Uh, hmm. Okay. What's happening over here? What you doing there? Let me just shoot a net and we'll just see which one it hits. It's got it. Yep. Yeah, there we go. It hit the 180. Amazing. Perfect. Let me go ahead and just kill this other one then. So these things can... Oh my god. Okay. I thought it was getting out. These things can jump up into the sky. So obviously you don't really want to... Um, risk it so there we go we killed it cool um i would build my trap right now but i really don't feel like we have enough time left over so i'm actually gonna wait for this thing to break free and then be trappable again but this is actually a really nice area to find it in because it's kind of flat which is exactly what we need by the way for this trap uh you don't actually need s plus structures i just have them right here so you need eight uh fence foundations preferably stone and then uh, 16 little door frames. I mean, you could do it with eight, but I'm just going to use 16 anyway, just to be completely safe because there could be like a little rock or something that could allow it to like walk over. I guess another thing that you need is obviously a ghillie suit so you don't get aggroed onto uh, by other creatures as well as the shadow main. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We should be good to go in a minute when it's able to be trapped again. God, that is such a beautiful color though. I'm so happy with that. I'm saying it's so beautiful, but like we're going to mutate the crap out of these things once I can. All right, there we go. Is that going to hit? Nope, totally not. Let me see. Boom, that should hit. What? Oh, he's not trappable, is he? When are you going to be trappable there, bud? Now? Yes. Boom, sweet. All right, just took me like 17 tries. All right, so here's what we got to do. Uh, we should probably just line this one up for the moment. There we go. Want, want, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to move that a little bit. There, that's perfect. So just make a little two by two with these things. Boom. And there. And then I can't really see because this is a dead power sword, but we're okay. Oh, I had that. There we go. Like that. And then come on. There we go. And then one more. Boom. And then go ahead and just pop these things around the edge just like this. You might have to just like quickly place these things down. Because you will you don't really want to be around when this thing actually gets out of the trap. Let me just go ahead and get away. Cool. All right. So, should be good now. Uh, basically, moving out of render distance is going to stop it from being aggroed to you. And it's not going to try and attack the trap or you or anything like that. So, I think we're good now. Should be getting out of its, its little net any second now. And then we should be good to go with this. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it is attacking the trap. Okay, so we should probably move further out of render distance again. Now, unfortunately, this could mean that it could walk through the trap because as we know, creatures load in before structures. So that could potentially happen. Um, so maybe what I should have done right there was net it again and then move away. So if it's out, then you'll know that I've learned my lesson. And it is in. Cool. All right, sweet. So we're basically good to go here. We should... Uh, should be ready to go. So let me go ahead and pop on the skilly suit. Boom. Uh, let's go ahead and get a fish on the bar. Boom. And it's got to be sleeping. It is sleeping right now, but I'm not sure if I trust it. So you want you want to obviously be crouched going up to it. I feel like maybe I should have been waiting for it to wake up and then fall back asleep again. But we might be okay here. Feed fish baskets and now we just want to walk away. Okay, we're good, right? It is invisible, but it is still inside of its trap, which is great. Uh, let me go ahead and just track it. Boom. 13%. Okay. Not a huge amount per fish. I actually thought it was going to be higher. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, let's get another fish on the bar. Boom. Maybe that was a smaller fish. I'll have to kind of test this out a little bit. That could have just been basically just a 2.0. But yeah. Uh, we got to wait for it to become visible again, and it's then going to have to uh, fall back asleep. Should become visible any second now, though. But yeah, this is the basic premise. It's it's honestly not that difficult when you get down to it. It's mainly just collecting the fish, which is like the biggest bitch about it. There we go. It's falling back asleep. Cool. All right. So you'll probably also want to maybe not approach its face, because I think that is going to make it aggro a little bit more or easier, I guess. So just kind of approach its back if you can. You don't really even have to go that far away from it when um, when you feed it. So there we go, 26%. So 
Unless both of those were 2.2s, then I guess it's getting 13% per feed. Let's go ahead and feed it a 2.4 and see if that does anything different. All right, we should be good to kind of like get close to it. We don't actually have to stay all the way back there. There you go, sweet. All right, so we just got to keep doing this then. 39%, so yeah, it's just getting a flat 13 per feed which is understandable. And these are all above 2.0 as well. So I guess it doesn't actually make a difference once it's past 2.0. The whole 2.0 thing mainly just goes down to the fact that I believe it drops effectiveness if you feed it anything lower. So as you can see here, we're still golden. I mean, like it's still 100%. Hopefully that we don't mess that up or that doesn't go down or anything because that would be awful. Okay, so what is it again? I think it's after the fifth fish it starts to drop down so this is kind of unfortunate now um we're doing everything right but maybe it's the fact that the creatures are max level 180 over here that's gonna kind of mess it up a little bit now i actually do believe that when i had the genesis series i think my taming was a little bit higher so we didn't really encounter this i think it only actually took a flat five fish for me to tame over there but obviously on here it's gonna take a little bit more hopefully we don't lose any levels here though like, I'm doing everything correct, but it might just be a case of the levels are too high. What way are you sleeping right now? <laughs> its face is, like, in the ground. It's so weird. Let me get in here. There we go. Woo. All right. We're okay. Didn't lose any points there. That's good. You know, come to think of it, that could have potentially been a 2.0 on the dot. Maybe that's not even good enough. Damn, these freaking things are so picky. That could have been it, actually. I might have to look back at the footage. I'll confirm it on the screen right now if that was a 2.0, and that actually could have been the reason why this all happened. Luckily, we're not going to actually lose any levels anyway because, like, we shouldn't be getting plus 90. We should be getting plus 89 at most, uh, no matter what. So, technically, you know, this one level that we lost is, like, natural. <gasps> oh! What are you aggro to? You literally, are you kidding me? That is bull. What did it just aggro to? What's it looking at? Did you see that? It literally fell asleep and then woke up immediately. That's never happened to me before. Now I'm not going to have enough fish to actually tame it. I only have four here. Ah, oh, that's so bull. Are you kidding? Now I got to go find some more. Are you kidding me, game? Why did you do this to me? It's aggro to something. Look at it. It's looking at something. I don't know what it is. What are you looking at, huh? What? What? <laughs> You ass! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That is so... Ugh, god damn it. Well, great! I guess that can happen too. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong there. It's just, it woke up. It aggroed to something. I don't know what. <laughs> you absolute ass! Like, what? It didn't aggro to the dung beetle because it would be going for it right now. I don't know what it aggroed to or what happened there, but that is super annoying. That's never happened to me. So, yeah, I guess that can happen, unfortunately. Great, now I gotta look for some more freaking fish. I do not want to look at this biome. Over here is awful. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I hate it. I hate it so much. All right, whatever. It's fine. We'll, we'll come back for that stupid shadow man. Is that even a good one? Let me actually go ahead and just take a look at its stats. I just want to see to see if it actually was a good shadow main. That is super annoying, though. I don't know why that happened. I mean, like, that literally makes zero sense. But cool. It's fine. Is that a good one? Oh, 245 melee is actually pretty good, I think. Damn. All right. Yeah, that actually could potentially be a really good shadow main. I am super annoyed about that. That is the most annoying thing ever. I can't believe that actually happened. So cool. Great. Now I got to go ahead and just collect more fish. I hate it. I hate it. Ah. All right. Cool. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later as a guest. I, I thought we were going to have this thing all on the one little clip, but no. Nope. You can't have nice things. All right, so the shadow main that we were going to tame uh, completely is just gone now. I don't know what the hell happened to it. I went back and the trap was empty, so it probably escaped. And I started looking around the area, and then I found another 180, and it's a male. The only issue is, is that it looks not so good. It's got, like, terrible colors compared to the last one. We got to kill that female with it, though. So, yeah, let me... I don't know how we're going to do this. Unfortunately, I was really, really dumb and just forgot to bring ammo for my um, my long neck. So, <laughs> it's basically just... Uh, 
Oh, it's just gonna be the shotgun, I guess. Let me see. Do I have a better way of doing this? Probably not. I mean, oh wait, hang on a second. Can you pick them up? I don't think you can, can you? Definitely not with a... You know, also, that probably wouldn't be a very good idea, even if I did do that. So let's not do that. By the way, we named the Magmasaur Mercury because, obviously, you know, it's like liquid metal. And to be honest, those Magmasaurs look really cool. So I decided that should be the name of it. Uh, let me figure out how the hell I'm going to do this real quick. Maybe we could do it with the Astrodelphus, actually. We just shoot it, and then maybe both of them don't aggro, and we could be good. Oh, crap. I think I just left some element back here, didn't I? Hang on a sec. Uh, yeah, I think that's my little element bag. Hell yeah, let me pick that up. We only have one piece, but you know what? That would have been one piece that I wouldn't have if I forgot to pick it up. Um, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a good idea. Let's just net the 180. Let's just do what we did earlier. It makes so much sense to just do it this way. We'll just net the 180, and then we'll try to kill the other one, and then we'll come back and then lay the trap, and then do all the good stuff. I have enough fish for this, so we should be good. Um... Let me see. Which one's the 180? That is the male. This one here is the female. So go ahead and just net that one then. Boom. That should hit, right? What? How the hell did that not hit? All right. Do I got to go a little bit higher? It kind of looked like that would hit. Oh, maybe they just can't hit from that range. You know what? That actually might be a thing. Because that would have definitely been, you know, dead on. <gasps> they pissed? I don't think so. All right. Ooh, that's totally going to miss. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, what are you doing? No! What the hell? Why did you start flying forward? It makes no sense. Ah! Let me up. Stupid Astrodelphus, what the hell are you doing? Oh, God. It's terrible. Astrodelphus, follow me! You know what? Let me just on. Oh, my God. This is a disaster right now. You need to come with me. What are you doing? Why did you start flying forward randomly? I don't even understand what the hell just happened. Now they're both pissed at me. Great. You've ruined the day. <laughs> Let me... You didn't even have any element. You ate that last piece. Or maybe I didn't put another piece in. I have no idea. Let me go ahead and pick you up. Uh, that's... Okay, there we go. Uh, what What the hell's attacking? Oh, my God. Really? Okay, hang on. I do have a melee weapon, but we'll just try and shotgun them. There we go. Was it just one or was there more? I don't even know. Uh, which one's the 180? Probably this one here, right? Yeah. Okay, this has been a disaster so far. We need to just... We need to net this thing. Get into the stupid net. Boom. Oh, I thought it was going to keep walking. Damn it. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We can hit it from here. Boom. Sweet. All right, let me just go ahead and shotgun this one then. Okay. Ow. Really? <laughs> I really should have brought my long neck ammo. This would have been easy to avoid. We could have just sniped it from a distance. Oh, my God. Stop that immediately. Let me just fly a little bit higher. These things are insane. They're actually getting a nerf soon, I think, by the way. But I think it's based on their, uh, their stun that they have instead of, um, you know, power-wise. Although, who knows? Uh, it's part of the quality of life um, <laughs> update that we're getting. I don't know if that's necessarily quality of life, but for PvP guys, it probably is, because their stun is pretty insane. Um, so yeah, that's happening at some point. I don't know when. Uh, also, two new breedable creatures. I'm betting on the Rock Drake and the Basilisk, although who knows? It's definitely got to be Rock Drake and then something, but I don't know. That, uh, that all came out in the community post the other day, so in case you're wondering. Um, all right. Well, I got to wait for this thing to be out of the net. Then we have to be ready to net it again. To be honest, if I could get it up here, actually. Oh, that would be good. Should we try? I feel like I should probably try that. Yeah. Uh, how are we going to do this, though? These things are ridiculous, man. They just they zap you from like a mile away. All right. Let me go ahead and eat some grub. Oh, ooh. <laughs> he's coming. All right. Well, sweet. We've, we've got him over here. Let me see. Where, where are you? There you are. All right. This. Oh, my God. Okay. I forgot they could do that. Okay. Ah, oh, tech. Tech, do stuff. There we go. Oh, my God. You can even catch me if I'm tech running. That's insane. All right. Let me get this ready. He's going to jump at me. I know he is. But maybe I can hit him. Yes. All right. Sweet. So this should be a better area to do it in. Not, you know, that you have to actually move them around. Um, for the most part, you don't. Let's see, uh, roughly around here. <gasps> okay, no, we're okay. He's uh, <laughs> he's just uh, getting up, but he is still netted. He's like waking up or whatever. Uh, come on, there we go. And doo -doo. Ooh, we had it. Okay, let's just do the little G trick. Nope, mm, there we go, cool. All right, now let's get these around it. Uh, I'm nervous. Just get a full layer around. 
there and then over there and and then i'm oh god that's the wrong button i'm leaving you stay in there okay we should be okay here <laughs> oh my god that was intense all right well we got the 180 hopefully it's a good one i gotta check it actually to be honest it could have been awful it probably is oh man that one earlier was pretty good like pretty what was it again like 240 or something on the melee that's that seems pretty good my god my tech armor is gonna break soon um we do have you know this the free set like the genesis set that doesn't break under but my other set breaks and i'm pretty sure if this was to break then it would tr throw all of it off of me instead of keeping the skin on me i don't really know how that works let's see let me see about doing this are we going to be good in terms of time for these fish we might have to no we should actually be okay 20 minutes seems good you know what just in case i'm, a I'm actually gonna go ahead and just refresh the timers boom there we go oh wow okay i don't remember that happening it came out as a 270 huh all right let me get you out of here uh a 270 that's interesting that means that it didn't even lose a single level i don't ever remember getting them like that but maybe that did happen before i have no idea this thing looks fierce man it's a pity about the colors like it would have been really cool to get just all of the same colors that we had earlier that would have been amazing all right let's check out the stats on this thing then so let me put you away boom and here you are so we've got 50 points into melee okay that's really good damn and 43 points into health actually you know what this is a pretty good shadow main 42 into the stem hmm yeah no that's that's actually quite good uh i'm pretty happy with this thing actually let me go ahead and pop you down the only issue with taming these things is like the freaking fish are like the most annoying thing to get they really are oh man i wish that they were like breedable or clonable or just something so we could like farm them easier but no no you can't do that i mean you could probably just start feeding lower level fish and just losing the levels on the tames but if you want good stats you know it's not really something that you want to do all right well anyway um i'm not trying to tame up a female here today i feel like that would be kind of pointless oh hey look it's raining all right you know what let me go find something big to go fight because i feel like that could be it could be good we could get some nice levels on this thing as well um we will of course be doing some mutations with these things but like give me a little bit like they are really really annoying to tame so yeah uh don't really want to dive into trying to do that here today boom hell yeah got him with my little zap and i'm not able to attack there we go now i am sweet all right let me go ahead and kill this bronto actually should probably tame some of these freaking brontos over here these are brontos they look dope not really this one but like the other ones i've seen so many amazing combinations of colors on them and they look really cool Let's hit him with the alt there we go oh man all right this freaking creature's insane it's not even leveled at all and i could do 700 damage with one of my attacks you know that's uh it's kind of ridiculous it really is um it's a real pity that we can't also get a female though unfortunately it's just uh it would be too much work for today and plus i've already had to basically like half tame one of these things and then lose it so yeah that's pretty upsetting so um we have learned something here today if you use uh fish that are smaller than 2.1 you will lose some taming effectiveness and if you don't then you won't so yeah we got 100 percent on this one which is very very surprising usually you don't get 100 percent on any sort of passive tame like you can't you know tame up a gigantopithecus and just get 100 percent you usually get like 99 point something you know you always have to lose that little extra bit but with these guys i guess it's not it's not a thing there are a couple creatures that that happens with i just can't name them all off the top of my head right now all right let me go ahead and kill some of these dudes oh you know what we can go into the water for some hydration buff as well hell yeah let me go ahead and just destroy this mantis oh that didn't even work wow okay that thing's op all right let's get down here let me get some hydration buff it's kind of annoying how the rain doesn't give that to you i really do feel like it should do that i think that would actually be really interesting if it did because then you can kind of strategize your attacks like wait till it starts raining or something and then get in there i don't know could be a thing all right let's uh let's go ahead and zap everybody boom man these things are so cool honestly one of my favorite creatures in arc like they are so fun to use um oh my god wow we're doing 844 damage unleveled 
with that uh, hydration buff. That aloe is so cool looking. By the way, we did a poll on the channel a little while ago. Uh, I asked if I should basically mutate regular aloes, X aloes, or R aloes. And um, I think the over overwhelming uh, majority wanted me to uh, mutate X aloe, or not X aloes, R aloes. There we go. Um, so we'll probably do that. I haven't tamed any of them yet. I'll probably start doing that soon though. So yeah, give me a little bit and we'll, we'll work on trying to make just some absolutely insane looking aloes. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Just give me a bit. Oh man, the mutations sometimes really take it out of me. Like I, it, it really just destroys my concentration because I'm like, oh my God, like constantly looking for like extra numbers on top of what we previously had and trying to remember what we previously had. And oh man, yeah. I do like the mutations, but like the way I try to do it nowadays is just very draining mentally. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's uh, kill this really nice looking Bronto. I love that little pattern. I don't know what it is. Look at that. It looks so cool looking. All right, come here, buddy. Hit him with a zap. You can't get away. And, oh, I was trying to use the ult, but it didn't work. That's something that they need to fix, but I don't think they will. Um, all right, let's see. So our first shadow main, I feel like, yeah, pretty insane. Let's go ahead and just keep leveling into melee. It's, uh, oh, I was going to try and do one of these. Boom. How much do we do now? Yeah, a good amount more, actually. Right, let's get in here with... Ah, oh, I did hit him. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, so mutated shadow mains could probably be the one creature that you could just use on any boss fight. And that is, of course, what we're going to work towards doing uh, soon-ish, maybe. I don't know. It depends how soon I get, you know, a really good health stat. Because I'm actually kind of okay with this melee stat that we got here today. I would totally mutate with that. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, I missed my ult again. Great. But yeah, so, um, that's, that's gonna be a thing. I'm gonna make a ridiculously good army, and then maybe we'll do, like, one video where I literally just fight every single boss with the Shadow Mains. That could be kind of fun, actually. That would actually be a lot of work, but it could be a thing. I did not mean to use my ult. Alright, let's get a stun in, then. Boom! I love that so much. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Almost, and ult, I kind of hit. I did hit, but it didn't hurt them a huge amount for some reason. All right, let's get in here with some of these. Come on. Even though we do a lot of damage, it does actually take a long time to take down like a pack of Brontos. <laughs> Come on, you're almost dead. There we go. Oh, dude, that was a 174. That's okay though. Don't worry, Th these creatures are so common over here. I don't think I'll ever have any issues trying to find what I'm looking for when I'm looking for it. So even though I'm killing high levels and not being very cautious, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Get in here with another stun. Come on. And ult. Nice. Okay. They are mate boosted, so we're doing a lot less. You know what? Let me just uh, shotgun them just a little bit just to take them down. There we go. You should be like a couple hits away now. See, there we go. Sweet. That was another 174. What level is this one? Is this another 174? Hang on. Oh my god, what? Why is there three of them together? That makes no sense. That literally makes no sense. Why are three 174s like in a little pile? In like a little bundle? <laughs> it was a package deal. I'd literally say like, oh yeah, what Brontos? And then like, oh, it's okay. We're killing high levels, but it's fine. But like three 174s all together makes zero sense. Can we talk about this? <laughs> like that makes zero sense. What level are you? Oh, that would have been so amazing. <laughs> See, that's the thing, guys. Everybody's like, oh, how, how do you find all these high levels? I don't know. How the hell did I manage to just find three 174 Brontos all together? Arc just works in mysterious ways. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. This video is taking a long ass time to put together. Honestly, I really hate getting those fish, but we need to get more because we need to try and tame up some more shadow mains. Maybe what I'll do for the rest of the shadow mains is just look at their wild stats and then just kind of judge whether or not I want to try and tame them. Like this one here was pretty good. I don't know what its wild stat was for the health, though. Damn. I feel like it was like 4,000 or something, maybe. Maybe close to 5,000. So if I find something that's around 6,000, then I know that's going to be a really good stat. So yeah, maybe that's what I'll try to do instead of just taming just tons and tons of shadow mains. I'll just try and aim for ones that I think might be good. What level are all these Brontos? <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And uh, yeah, catch you 
in the next one. Oh, I missed my ultimate. All right, anticlimactic, but that's okay. 